So today we'll be learning CSS animation. We'll be learning CSS animation. So if you look at my screen, you'll see a car racing game on the screen. And we we'll want to learn how to use CSS to build a car racing game just for practice purpose. And this one will not be perfect. We'll not have all the features that game have because we're not having JavaScript and back into it yet. We're just building the simple front end for a simple car racing game. So let's get started. So first of all, let's open a folder on our desktop. So right click, click on new folder. Let's call this folder car raising, car underscore raising. So inside our car raising folder, that's where we'll be holding all our files, our HTML and CSS. So let's double click on it to open it. Then when you finish opening it, right click to create a new folder inside the car raising. Click on new, click on folder. Then let's rename this folder. Let's rename this folder. Sorry, right click, click on rename. So let's call this folder CSS and then right click again, click on new, click on folders. Let's call this one images, images, okay. So we've created two folders inside our car raising folder. We created CSS and images folder. So now let me close this. So let's go to our sublime. When you go to sublime, click on control N to open a new file. Click on control S to save. Then go to desktop on the left side of the screen. Then scroll down. Scroll down, look for the car raising folder we created just now on our desktop. Okay, here's the car raising folder we created. Click on it once and click on open. Then inside our car raising folder, let's, you'll see there are two folder we just created, the CSS and the image folder we just created is there. So let's call this one the index, index, Oh, sorry, let's say car underscore raising dot html. So saving it as dot html, your extension must be dot html for html files. So click on save. So now let's write the html structure, write html and click on tab if you're using sublime. It will show the structure. On the title bar, let's write animation CSS. CSS animation. So, CSS animation. When you write CSS animation, our body will start working on our body. But before we first work on our body, we need to write our meta meta head for responsiveness. If you want it to be responsive for both mobile and desktop. You need to write the meta head. So let's write the meta head that will make it responsive for both mobile and desktop. So let's say meta equals to name. Let's say the name is viewport. Sorry. Let's say name. Let's give it the name of viewport. Viewport. Then let's give it a content, a content of width equals to device, sorry, device device width. Then comma, let's say initial scale. Initial scale should 
should equal one so by so doing our website will be responsive for both mobile phone and for desktop so i haven't done that let's before a meta head for viewport let's give it a meta head to identify that this is a unicode 8 document just for reference purpose okay now let's get started with our code so if you control s and control save which is control s to save right click on your mouse click on open in browser you see our css page is still blank nothing yet css animation is there so let's write our code so the car racing game we want to build if we go back to the demo of the car racing you see the car racing game we want to build you see do you see the road you see this line between the road this pedestrian line this separation line between the two lane right lane and left lane and then we have the background that is gray so let's try and replicate it so first of all let's get the background that is gray we we'll first of all look for the background so let's go back to us so let's call let's give a div here let's give this div an attribute called land l-e-a-n-d 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 is just an attribute that we name on our home it is not a default css attribute you can give any attribute to any html element you can name your own attributes however html has some default attributes such as class and id and for image you see the source sroc and all of that but you can name your own attribute so for this course for this css we're naming this uh, this attribute land inside our land let's have a div let's say div let's give this div a class let's give it a class of road so this div would be the road then let's have another div again let's call this div we give this div a class a class of double line double underscore line okay so we have three div here now so let's create our css so to create our css control n to open a new file control s to save when you save click on desktop when you click on desktop scroll down look for the car raising folder we created car raising folder double click on it then you see the CSS folder there, double click on it to open the CSS folder and then call this car, car underscore raising, raising dot CSS. So we're calling this car raising dot CSS. So inside our car raising dot CSS, let's use the universal selector. Let's use an universal selector. So to do your universal selector, you shift and hit or shift and star. You see that star sign there. You press it. You press shift and that star sign on your keyboard to show your universal selector. So inside our universal selector, we're just going to default some things. Set some padding to zero. This, this way, all our padding on all elements will be set to zero. And the margin will be zero. So we are initializing everything. So there will be no default margin and padding for our HTML and CSS. So the next thing we want to start now is our land. So, so the land now, let's say div. You know, we gave the land an attribute of, we gave this land an attribute of land. So we are using this div to represent the land and we gave it an attribute of land. So because we gave the div an attribute of land, you can use attributes to style CS HTML elements. So to use attributes to style HTML elements, you just need to put the attribute name. So let's say the div that has an attribute of land. 
So this is how you style with attributes. So we want, we want to style the div that has the attribute of land. That's how you style it in CSS. So you write div and then square brackets open and then the name of the attribute and square bracket close. That's how you style attributes. You style HTML elements using attributes. So now for the land, we want to say position fist. Then let's say top zero pixel. This one will make it to stay at the top. We now have space at the top. Then let's say width hundred percent height hundred percent. Then let's say overflow overflow heating then let's say background light gray so background light gray so if i press ctrl s to save then go to my browser refresh it didn't show our style didn't work the reason is because we've not linked our CSS to our HTML. So to do that, you need to write your link attribute L E I N K and then click on tab. Inside your link attribute, we put it inside, we put these ties inside CSS folder. So we say CSS slash. Then the name of our CSS file is car underscore raising dot CSS. So it's because we put it inside CSS folder. That's why we put CSS first before saying car raising the CSS. So let's save, Ctrl S to save. Go back to your browser now and refresh. Yes, our land is in good shape now. So the next thing we want to design now is the road. So if you look at the one we are working with, you see that the road has this square. It looks like triangle, but the top is why is the bottom is wider than the top so let's try and make our road the same way let's try and style our own road so let's go back to our css let's let's call the class of road dot road then let's say for the road let's say position absolute then let's say top 20 pixel sorry let's say sorry let's clean this I'm not position absolute so for the rope let's say border border bottom let's say 700 pixel Then let's say, sorry, solid, 700 pixels, solid black. For me, I'll use the decimal color, 000. Then let's say, border right. Border right, sorry, I'll read this. Border right, 100 pixel. Solid, transparent, hundred pieces. Solid, transparent. Then let's say border, border left, hundred pixel two. Solid, transparent. Then let's give it a height. The road we want the road to be hundred percent of the screen, so we we'll say the height should be hundred percent of the screen. No, sorry, you can't give it a height of hundred percent. When you want to style this kind of shape using CSS, you must set the height to zero pixel because if you give it an height, it will not work. So let's give it a width of 300 pixel. 
So let's give it a margin or two to bring it to the center. So if we go back to our, our work now and refresh, you see our road is now here. For this height, if you give it any height, let's say that uh, a height of 800 pixels, for example, and refresh, it will not work. It will break the code. The code will not work. It will not show. The reason is because we are trying to make a shape that is not a, reg a regular rectangle or square. Because normally all HTML, CSS, all div are usually rectangle or square in nature. So giving it and when you try to adjust the div to look like this triangle shape, if you give it an eye to not work. So the thing that gave us the shape is the border. If you look at it very carefully, you notice that we specified the border to be border button to be 700 pixels. We made the border very big. So the border will give us the shape. We don't use the height. To design shape like this we use borders so you must work with your borders very well to get your desired shape so for we will be using this one so that's what we'll be using so that means if you right click on your screen now and then inspect it will show the mobile version but if you look at the mobile version, our road is not showing fully. It's half of our road that is showing. So we need to specify the at media query that will make our road to show just like the way it's showing on the desktop faction. So under here now, we'll now specify our at media, media only screen. So you're saying only the screen should respond to the css and let's set the mass width let's set the mass width to 650 pixel so screen size below 50, 650 pixel will respond to this style so let's say road dot road so for the road we'll say I just copy all of this tile because we'll still be using all of this tile. Let's leave the marginal two and just copy everything here. So to so adjust it to look to fit the mobile version. So to fit the mobile version, we'll leave this one as 700 pixel two. Then the border will reduce this border to 25 percent. 25 percent. 25%, sorry, 25 pixel, not 250. Let me remove this error. Okay. So the width will reduce the width to, so we'll make the width 70% of the screen. So let's say 70% of mobile screen will be regarded as the road. So if you control S to save, go to your browser, refresh. Yeah, our road is not better. Still having a triangle-like shape. That's good. Okay. So we can even remove this border button to still work. Since we've already specified height to be zero at the top, we can still remove height here to still work. Because we've already specified it for the mobile version. Still work. So that's for our road. So we've gotten our route. The next thing we want to do now is to get our straight line, this white, this yellow line that divide the road. We call it double line. So let's copy, see, our, look at our CSS class double line. Let's go and style the double line to make the, that place have double line. So under the road, we put a dot, paste our class, then for the double line, let's say width of, sorry, width one pixel, width of one pixel, then let's say border, border three pixel, dash, let's give it a dash border, dashed 
for me i'll use the yellow color as a decimal color for yellow for that particular yellow okay so that is the, the is a decimal color let's give it a height of 100 percent then let's say top zero pixel then left we want to t to be at the middle of the screen so let's say 49 percent 49 percent so we want the line to be at the middle of the screen let's say border radius border radius let's give it a border radius of 50 percent Control s to save go back to your browser and refresh or a double line didn't show double line okay okay we need to specify position absolute sorry so we've not specified our position absolute let's say position absolute so this one now will make it sure so if i refresh now yeah a double line is not showing so it's still at the center for both mobile and six times this is system view this is mobile view it's still at the center so that's good so now the next thing we want to do is after getting our road our double line our land is now okay so the next thing we want to do now is to bring our cars to bring our cars so to bring our cars we need to get first of all let's get the car inside our div let's create a div here so inside the land inside the land let's create a div let's call this div let's call give this div a class let's give it a class of class of car car left car left then inside the car left we'll give it two class so we'll give it another class of car one so this is how you give html element to class so if you want to give any html element to class all you just have to do is to write the name of the first class and then give one space and write the name of the second class so the html element consider it as two class so if you write car like this now and then put left here this one is three class you are giving this particular html element three class so you don't three class we want only two class so anytime you put space in between the class name it becomes two class so always learn to write your class name whole if you want to put maybe for example you want to space the word don't space your word like this it's better use underscore to space it than to space put space because you put space is not two class so this one now we have two class here so these two class the first class let's go to our css to style our first class so car left i'll copy this car left now and go to my css i'll go to under the double line a dot car left and then i'll say position position absolute all the things we'll be working with today nearly to everything will be position absolute because we don't want them to shift from where we are putting them so say top 20 pixel then let's say width 30 pixel 30 pixel then let's say height a height of 40 pixel then 
let's say so what we want to do today is animation so with animation we can make the object move all of these cars that we are seeing that is driving that is moving that is driving the css that is making them drive so we're going to work and make them we're going to see how they are possible using the css so to do that inside this archive left we're going to call one css animation property called animation 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 iteration count this animation iteration count if we set you can set it to either infinite inherit or initial if you set it to infinite you are telling that you are saying that this animation should continue to run for a long time that it should repeat itself over and over and over again so let me specify another animation property again animation animation underscore sorry animation fee mode let's set this one to forward so this one will make the animation to run and then repeat itself again so for the car let's call this we inside let's go back to html you see that this second class we gave it car one so let's copy this class now dot car one dot car one so inside car one we want the car one to be at the left so we say left 35 36 percent 36 percent let's say background red for example let's save ctrl s to save go to your browser let's go to our work let's save this is our car okay let's just assume this is our car we'll put car inside of it later so it's not moving currently so to make it move we need to go back to our css car one inside our car one class let's give the animation a name so for every animation that is moving you must that is moving on your screen you must give it a name so let's say animation name so let's say animation name car car one this is our car one so sorry you comma animation name car one then how long do you want this animation to run so that is what they call animation duration how long does it take for the animation to complete the tax you want to give to the animation so for that we we'll call it animation animation duration so for us we want the animation to run for just 10 seconds so and the animation will run for just 10 seconds so if you go back to your browser and contrast to save go back to your browser if you refresh the car one this red div is still not moving that's because we've not added the CSS style that will make it to move. So the major part, the most important part of animation is the keyframes. The keyframes specify what happens at different stages of the animation. So to write the keyframe, all you just need to write at you shift and two, click the at button on your keyboard, then then write keyframe, K E Y f k e y f r o a m e s specify put s keyframes then the name of the animation after the keyframes the name of the animation we are working with this for the name of this animation the first one is car one so we say car car one so that's the name of the animation so you open bracket close your bracket so this so you open bracket and close the bracket so what happens at zero percent of the animation zero percent of the animation is the beginning of the animation at animation so zero percent of animation is where the animation is starting from so for the zero percent of the animation we want to say that the, the the this motor which is this car should be at four pixel minus four pixel 
we don't want to see it inside the screen so at zero percent of the animation we will not see the car inside the screen but at 100 percent of the animation 100 percent of this animation that means when the animation has finished running so at the end of the animation that's the 100 percent you can specify one zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten to 100 you can specify it one by one that means if you want the animation to be carrying at different different activities at different interval you can specify it instead of going to 100 straight you can even specify 50 so at 50 percent the animation will do something yes so at 50 percent at 50 percent you want the animation to do something yes let's say you want the background now the background to change to blue from red the background will change to blue blue so at 100 percent of the animation let's say top 900 pixel so basically we want to move the div this div this div that will put our car inside across the screen so if i refresh you see that it's moving and it's changing to blue after 50 percent it changed when it started moving it was red when it's getting to 50 percent it changed to blue so that's how to make your first animation move so at zero percent at zero percent it will not show in the screen so it will just be four minus four pixel then it will just be minus four pixel there then because the animation started before minus four pixel you see that it's now driving down and if we leave it if we leave it if we didn't touch it it will repeat itself again the reason it repeated itself again is because of this animation iteration count that we set to infinite so because we set it set it to infinite the animation will continue to repeat itself so congratulations our first car is now moving so let's go to our html and let's duplicate car one let's copy so i copy it and paste it twice so i'll now change this one to car car 2 and car theory so we'll go back to our css2 for the css let's copy the keyframe for both car 1 and the style for both car 1 so copy the keyframe for car 1 so for this one, I will now change this one to car two. Hope you are seeing it. If you're not seeing, let me put it a little bit. Okay. So I hope you are seeing it like this. So we change this to car two. So instead of one here, we change this to two. Let's say two. So this animation name for the second keyframe, let's change it to two instead of one so we have two so for the car two let's set the left to 40 percent 40 percent and then let's set the duration to eight second let's say eight second then for the keyframe let's still leave this one as minus four then let's still leave this one as 900 pixel. So let's remove this back. Let's give our car two to be blue. Blue. So at 50%, let's turn it to yellow. Yellow. So let's save. Control S to save. So car three. We have a car three here. So let's copy this also. Copy. So let's change this to Kateri. Kateri. Then for the Kateri, let's change this to 44%. Then let's change this color to green. So let's change here to Tiri. 
to make things easy for you just copy and paste it that's why you are changing these things you can just type it again if you want so everything let's change it to to black it's kind of disappear from the screen 50 percent so if you control s to save go back to your html control s to save so we have our car one car two car three so let me refresh wow we have a car one car two and car three there that's good but they're kind of close to each other they're too close to each other so for our car three okay so that's it so next what we want to do now is if you noticed our code you notice that the keyframes for both car one car two and car theory they are exactly the same thing and yet we are repeating it the keyframes they are exactly the same thing and yet we are repeating it so to avoid this repetition let's merge the keyframes together so for this car 2 let's just copy this keyframe for car 2 let's copy it and bring it here let's say comma and then put keyframe for car 2 okay it didn't work so we cannot uh, assign all key, main double keyframes at the same line so you must specify them differently so it won't work it won't work so so let's remove this color let's remove this color we don't need this color for car one car two and car three we don't need these colors so let's leave it transparent so if you control S, save go to your browser our cars they are driving okay the next we don't want this color to be showing we want recalls to show so i already have an image on my desktop i'll put the link to this image on the description of this video so you can download these cars in png format so these are the cars that we'll be using so we have three car here we have car one car two car three and then the third car, the fourth car say my car so we'll be using these four cars to work so i'll put the link to the description of all these four cars under this video so you can download it so i'll just copy it from my desktop i have it on my desktop i'll go to car raising that we just created the folder we created i'll go to images open the images by double clicking on it and then paste it so i've pasted my four cars here so you when you download your image share the link in the description of this video when you download your image make sure you put it inside the images folder that we just created from this car raising folder we just created make sure you double click it inside the images folder that's where you paste your four cars inside so for let's go back to our sublime go to our html document inside our sublime let's close this div sorry so when you close this div then let's put an image here inside the image you will put the source the folder name the folder the images are inside images folder then this first one should be car one car one so close this close this div and then images sorry Im, img tag tag click on tab then the folder name is images then the car second car should be car two car two this folder is already this div is already closed so you say images 
img and car theory sorry folder name is images then the name of the car is car theory i forgot to put the extension always remember to put the extension dot png the image is in dot png format so go back to our image for two png then image for one dot png png is the extension of the image so you must specify the extension as dot png another thing we need to specify for the image again is width for each of the image let's specify a width of width 60 pixel 60 pixel then go to the next image width 60 pixel the third image width 60 okay control s to save go back to your browser let's refresh voila we have our cars so if we go back to our css again we know i told you we need to remove background we don't need all these colors here because we just use them for testing purpose so car one car two car three car three car two and car one let's remove this color we don't need them so control s to save go back to your browser refresh yes we have our driving cars so our cars are not driving so so car 2 and car 3 they are coming at the same time we don't want them to come at the same time so if we go back to our car 3 let's set the duration to 9 seconds so we don't want them to come at the same time we don't want them to come and go at the same time so if we refresh now you see they are now moving at different speed okay yes better it's better this way so they are not coming differently but if you inspect inspect it and view the mobile version you see that the thing the our work is still scattered the cars look at this car now is driving across the yellow line we don't want that so let's specify the mobile version to bring the cars to the left side of the screen so let's scroll down to our css inside the at media query we declared inside this at media query let's let's tidy the car one car two and car three so let's say dot car one car one then let's say left 15 percent let's say dot car two car two let's say left 25 percent let's say dot car theory left 35 percent so this one will for the mobile version will bring the image to the left side of the road yes we have our images our cars at the left side of the road that's good so the next thing we want to do is to design another car for the right side of the road these cars will be going upward will be going driving right so this right side of the road will be driving upward why why this one is driving downward this one will be driving upward so let's go back to our css html so inside our html let's give a div let's give a div let's call this div let's give this div a class let's say right 
sorry car right so these are the cars that will stay on the right side of the road so let's say car r i g h t car right so inside car right let's give it let's give car right a car let's say car four so this one will not be car four car four so let's let's duplicate this into three two places sorry let's duplicate it into three places so we change this one to car five to car five and change this one to car six so we have three cars also on the right side three cars on the left side so let's go to our cxs css let's go down before the media query before this media query let me put some space here under your at keyframe for category under your at keyframe for category let's just put dot car right okay then let's say position position absolute let's say bottom 20 pixel let's say width 30 pixel height 40 pixel animation animation iteration count to make it run continually let's say infinite then animation animation fee mode and let's say forward this will make it stay then let's say that's all for our car right so inside car rides we gave we had two, uh, four cars so for the four cars let's copy these keyframes and the class for car theory so under car four under our car right let's go down and paste this one so let's change this one to car four that's for the fourth car let's change it to four okay for car four we want it to stay for the duration to be nine seconds let's just give it a background red for example then let's change it to four for the animation then instead of top because the left side is moving from the top that's why we specify top and top here for the bot for the right side will be moving to the will be moving from the bottom to the top so we'll specify bottom here bottom okay then bottom so instead of top we'll specify the bottom so when we control s to save go back to our browser refresh you see our uh, animation is now moving it's now moving from the bottom to the top but we want it to be on the right side not on this left side it's still at the left side so for this left to we'll push it a little further so let's push it to 50 52 percent 52 percent of the screen Control S to save, go back to your browser, refresh. Yes, it's now on the right side. So it's good. So next, what we want to do is to duplicate for all our other cars for the right on the right side. All our other cars on the right side. We have two other cars. Let's 
add to them so let's paste this is for car instead of four here let's say car five we have car five let's increase this one to for the car five let's say 57 percent then let's change it to five then for the duration let's put it to 10 seconds let's say blue then change here to five okay the next one is car six the six car so paste again and put six here for the left let's change it to 61 percent and send the duration to eight second here should be car six then here should be car six so basically we are repeating what we did we just replicating them then changing the car's name and the css animation name so when going back to our browser refresh after saving you see our cars they are now driving upward so we have car going up car coming down car going up car coming down so now i want to put car inside inside this html this red color and all of this i want to put car inside instead of these red colors and blue colors so to do that let's go back to our html so i'll we'll go back to our html let's put our image for the first d4 car 4 let's write e img tab the source we are having a folder called images so we'll put the name of the folder first then the car let's just say car one let's use car one for car four let's just repeat it again dot png png for car five we say images img images let's use car two for car five car underscore two so we're using the same car that we use for car two for this car five two png then for car c is and mg the images for that let's use the same card that we use for three card three for the same card six so using the same card that we use for card three on the left side for card six on the right side for you control s to save go back to your css we don't want this background again Let's remove this background blue, this background red, remove them, then go to screw up this background red for four, remove it. This it will just remove the background for car four. Go back to your HTML again. We still want to specify width for our HTML. We still want to specify width. Let's say width 60%, 60 pixels, sorry. Then here, we say width 60 pixel, width 60 pixel, Ctrl S to save, go to, back to your CSS, Ctrl S to save, and then go to your browser, refresh. Yeah, we have our cars for both left and right, the cars on the right is going up and the cars on the left is going down so this is 60 percent okay so we're good to go But if you notice one thing, our cars on the right side is driving backward. That's because we use the same image for both right and left. And the image by default, they are facing ground. They are facing down. 
bottom of the push. So it looks as if these are cars that are using back to drive. We don't want that. We want these cars to drive with your front, not back. So look at this one. It's driving with the back, by driving backwards. So to turn this back to the front, to turn this side now to the other side, let's go back to our right cars, go to our CSS. So our right cars, we want to turn them to the right. So we say transform. So inside transform, we say rotate. We say rotate. We say rotate 180 degrees. So we want to rotate it 180 degree. D E G. So this CSS property will help us to turn our car to face the other side instead of driving backwards. So after saving, control to save, refresh. You see, our cars are not driving the right way instead of driving back with your back. They are not driving with your front. So that's cool. So that's all we've designed our cars for that right and left cars so the next thing we want to do now is we'll go to javascript after this class and in our javascript we want to make this car raising work we want to make the car raising to be working as an actual game so to do that we want us we want to add another car to this place so under this car sees Let's add another div. Let's say div. Let's give this div a class of. We want the, the car, car to be at the right side. So let's give it a car right. Car right. A class of car right. And then let's give it a class of my car. So this one will be our car. Let's say our car. So inside this our car, let's give it an image and say images then let's say the name of the image should be my car my car dot png let's give it a width 60 pixel 60 pixel now let's copy this my car class let's go to our css so under our sit car under our cassis and after our cassis at mid at frame keyframe let's paste dot paste and then paste uh, my car or you can type it my car the class and then let's say bottom 250 pixel then let's say left 60 pixel So 52 percent let's say 52 percent 52 percent control s to save go back to your html control s to save and then go back to your browser refresh okay we have our car here so this is our car let's say dot car car four For car four, we'll say left fifty eight percent, let's say dot car five left, let's say left is sixty eight percent. Let's say that car car six car six let's say left seventy eight percent then my car dot my car fifty eight percent Sorry, this was supposed to be left. Let's 
Ctrl S to save. Go back to your browser and refresh. Refresh. Okay, it has an uh, well spaced a car here. So this is our car. In our JavaScript class, we'll try to make this our car, car move. You see, this car went through our car. There was no accident in our JavaScript. We'll try to make it in such that if our car touches any other car or any other car touches our car, it will cause an accident and then the cars will stop moving. The two cars that got accident will stop moving. So in our JavaScript, we'll be working on that one. So to be able to drive our cars, we need a controller. We need a controller to be able to drive our cars. So let's add the controller. So let's add the controller. So let's give a div here. Div. Let's give this div a class of controller. Okay. Inside this div, let's have a span. Now, in HTML, HTML has what we call emojis. Emojis are like character. They are like character, like A, B, C, D, two. They are default on all HTML documents. So, especially current HTML documents. So, from HTML five, they have what we call a emoji also. So. Emojis are default on HTML5. Sorry, they, are, they can be seen, you can be used on HTML5. So, for example, if you look at this screen now, you see some emoji. All of these are emoji. They are, the browser can understand emoji. And you can use emoji on your web page. If you have a social media website that you want to display emoji, you can use all these emoji for your social media platform. Like you want an emoji like Facebook and WhatsApp, wherever you send love emoji, emotion emoji, and all of that, you can use emoji for it. So emoji can be used to, to write an emoji, you have to specify the emoji. The, you have two ways of specifying the, the emoji. We have the decimal method and the hexadecimal method. So you can use decimal to specify an emoji. So if you want to specify emoji for this clock now, you just need to copy this decimal number. When you paste this decimal number, once you copy this decimal number and use it as your M as the text, it will show this clock. So instead of typing you don't want to draw clock or you don't want to download an image of clock you just want to use an emoji it's html emoji to you to replace replace the clock you can just get the emoji here enough of much talking now i'll drop the link to all html emoji reference link to all html emoji in the description of this video so you can make reference to it so let me scroll down let me scroll down if I can see some emoji that I can use. Okay, so I have an emoji here. Look at one emoji here. Look at another emoji here. So I would like to use this emoji to specify the up and down so when you click on this button the car will drive upward when you click on this button the car will drive downward so let me use this key so let me copy this i'll copy I'll copy the emoji code there's a decimal code for the emoji so for this first one i will now write and to use an emoji all you just need to do is write and and then arch right hand and arch and paste the emoji code this one means you are calling this em this emoji to show on the screen so let's copy this class controller let's go to our css under the keyframe for under my class let's style our emojis so let's first of all let's start the controller paste the controller there and then let's give it a position 
fist let's give it a position fist let's see bottom zero pixel width 100 percent height 60 pixel I 60 pixel then test align center so for the span that is inside the emoji we want to style it the span that we're putting our button our controller button let's style it let's say font size since emojis are character you can increase their size by using font size HTML sees them as normal letter or alphabet that you input on your HTML. The way the same way you can style them with font size, even emoji you can style them with font size. So let's say 40 pixel. So let's say margin. Let's give it a margin of 10 pixel. Then let's say cursor pointer. This one will make it to show. So let me copy the second as a decimal code for the second for the down one. Copy. Ctrl S for your HTML or for your CSS. Go back to your HTML. Create another span. Create another span. S P A N. Then click on tab. Then right and and arch then paste here is a decimal code so remove, remove the space okay so we have either it's a decimal code for both up and down now let's go back to our html first of all ctrl s and then go back to your browser and refresh yeah so we have our two cursor here so this one will drive our car forward this one will drive our car backward but when this car is coming we want to drive to the right and left we want to be able to move to the right and the left side so as example this car is coming we want to dodge this car we need to be able to move to the right and left so let's find another another um, another emoji that we use to indicate right and left button so so right and left i don't know if we can see any emoji for right and left i think ah, i'm not seeing any emoji for right and left that's the end of the list okay i didn't see any emoji for right and left so i'll just use the hand emoji so let me use the hand emoji so for the hand emoji i'll just say span again and i'll say and arch then i'll say 120 128 sorry 072 then i'll say span again and arch one two eight zero seven three okay i think this will control s to save and then go to your browser go to our work refresh okay so we have our two emoji here this one for right this one for left so go back to our css for our controller, we want to put background. Let's just put background.
let's say background blue background blue okay control s to save go back to your css uh, your web browser refresh okay we have blue black, blue black background here but we don't want this blue background we want it to be a little bit transparent so let me inspect when you inspect you click on this mouse icon here this and touch the blue so this blue background I want it to be transparent a little bit so let's reduce the transparency so, so i'll copy this code now as a decimal code and copy and come to this blue and replace the blue so that's it so all i just did was we just inspect and selected this mouse icon touched it and then reduced the color of the blue so if i refresh now my blue stays the same color so this is what we'll be using to control our car if we want the car to move right we press this if we want it to move left we press this if we want it to move down we press this if we want it to move up we press this that's what we'll be doing with javascript so that's it for our car game so when we go to JavaScript properly, we'll make this car a moving car. We'll be able to drive this car, dodge cars that are coming, and then we'll be able to even turn to the left and to the right side of the road. So that's all for this course. See you in the next video. That's all for this course. Thank you.